Fox Files tonight, newly obtained video of an armored car robbery that you must see to believe. It shows the suspects determined to commit their crime even with police in sight. Here's Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes with the astounding surveillance video showing suspects who are still wanted. The armored car robbery Friday morning in this Save-A-Lot parking lot is even more astounding now that we can show you video of it happening. Fox 2 obtained it, showing a Loomis armored car pulling into the grocery store parking lot at about 9.52 a.m. One employee opens the back and a Jeep Cherokee Limited pulls in right behind. Then a large suspect, who police say may be about 250 pounds, struggles with the bank employee, who eventually runs into the store. A second suspect gets out. They struggle with what appears to be three bank bags. The car starts to drive away. The large suspect falls out of the car. The car stops as the robber then drags the final bank bag into the car for the getaway. Something else stands out. There's a police car nearby, lights flashing in an apparent traffic stop across the street. That police car was parked about where that air pump is, and you can see that bushes block the view of where that robbery was. Yet after the crime, the suspects made another unusual move. The suspects drove through the parking lot back out to Midland, right near that police traffic stop, then turned right to head south on Milton, rather than just cutting straight through the parking lot to Milton. That could be a clue. Possibly that the suspects did not know the area well. Overland Police Captain Jim Morgan also addressed the fact they struck even with police cars nearby. They had in mind they were going to rob that Loomis truck no matter what, no matter who was there, they were going to do what they did. People are bold nowadays. Though police got a good picture of the getaway car, that plate does not belong to the Jeep. The vehicle was improperly registered, so at this point we don't know if the car was stolen or not. I still can't believe that that even happened like in at all. Police recovered a weapon left behind when the suspect fell here on the surveillance video. It's this long gun we could see from Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox. No shots fired and no one was hurt as the only armored car employee reported to be working that day ran into the grocery store after he reported his gun was stolen. Loomis would not answer if it's standard policy to have only one employee working with an armored car. But police say Loomis did report a surprising amount stolen. The victim is reporting about $2,500 lost. What was that that was hard to carry? I'm not sure at this point. St. Louis County and the FBI both assisting Overland Police in the investigation. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.